Hey folks, this is your host, the one, the only Thrifty Gamer83 here. Oh, it has been a while, and one thing I'm taking a look at today is a little game called Super Mario Brothers 2. And I know the story behind it. I know it's not really considered part of the Mario Brothers franchise at times. But yeah, did you just see me get killed? Yeah, it's been that long. First level, you die! It's Nintendo hard. It's not an easy game by any means. And I wish one thing they would have brought over is the battery. The save battery would have been just awesome for it. I don't know why it wasn't carried over. Probably because of cartridge constraints and the fact that Nintendo could be a little hard to bargain with at times, so, yeah. But otherwise, it's a great game. And it's a classic game, originally known as Doki Doki Panic here in the States. It became Super Mario Bros. 2. And, yeah, great game all the way around. It really is. It's hard, like I said before, Nintendo difficulty hard. Yeah, you'll be coming back to this one for a long time now. The soundtrack is awesome. It's one of those, it's still the best, in my opinion, of any Mario Brothers theme. I honestly believe that. And unlike Mario Brothers 1, you could go backwards. And you didn't have a time limit. Really. One of those nice little effects. Boom! Think that hurt him? I think that hurt him. Think he'll be back? Uh, I don't think he'll be back. Yeah. I think the humor just worked for it for a while. The humor really does work. For Super Mario Brothers 2. It's not like the original. And that's a good thing. I think that it really achieved and showed that the NES could pull off some of the greatest 8-bit graphics of all time. And you really got to feel the love and dedication for this game. When I look back on playing Super Mario Bros. 2, I think of playing it with my sister, my older sister, my older brother. Just that time and space and everything else. And I was always the little kid brother. But they always included me. And that's what made it so cool. And you can still recall some of that classic theme song right from the minute you start playing. And that's what makes it so good, honestly, to have that soundtrack. To have something that you know and that you love playing in the background. To remember enemy patterns, to remember just what you have to do, and I really miss having that aesthetic for some of the games. Now I know people will say, well, how can you say that? The game was just... Some people say average. I just say it's awesome. It's awesome. It really is. I know that probably the people who say, well, if you have friends who called it awesome, then they suck. Well, no. you got to remember, everybody has their own taste and preference for games. So some may like being challenged by having 
a difficulty spike. Some may like the time limit. I know that my older brother missed having the time limit. Because for him, it was all about the challenge of the game. The challenge was the biggest part of his love for Mario games. One of the other things to it, too, was memorization. You had to memorize this thing inside and out to know where enemies would be, their patterns, what they would do for an attack. You also had to memorize where the red potions were. I have probably just thrown away every coin. Nope. I forgot this one doesn't have a red coin level. Oh, it did, and I lost it. Yeah, that would have been a good... <sighs> Let's see if I can get at least a mushroom out of get this. No, nothing. I should have waited. I should have thrown that potion... I should check back for it. Birdo, you make this too easy. Yeah, but like I said before, this isn't the one who shoots spiker flames yet, so... Yeah, she's a pushover in this instance. Later on, not so much. Later on, Birdo becomes more, much more <laughs> of a bother. I'll just jump right. Yeah, I. To this day, it's got to be Super Mario Brothers 2. I like not having a time limit. I like being able to go back, explore, find different secret paths, levels, that type of stuff. Yep, you gotta take advantage of it if it's there. You take advantage of it. Don't play catch. With each other! Little things like that, I think just made this game so much better. It had a sense of humor, it had a personality all on its own. Yeah, that's what I like about Super Mario Brothers 2. It has its own personality, its own charms, its own quirks. And a lot of the time, you find yourself laughing at it more often than not. And I think that's good for a game. I think that was great in the 80s. It didn't take itself too seriously. You had fun with it. The other people had fun with it. And, yeah. Just awesome, man. I can remember I had a friend who got this and Commander Keen. Commander Keen. Keen, and he couldn't decide if he wanted to keep his Nintendo or not. Yeah, what does that tell you? He couldn't decide. Do I want to keep it? I know that it's just a great game, but I can't picture 
how he thought he could ever get rid of Super Mario Brothers 2. I think if I knew why he wanted to, it would make it easier. But as it is... Russian Roulette. Yeah. He couldn't decide if he wanted to keep, like I said before, Commander Keen or Super Mario Brothers 2. And I think he should have kept it. Like I said before, it had its own sense of humor. Honestly. game has its own sense of humor when you can just <laughs> memorize the soundtrack it plays in the back of your mind you set it as your ringtone then it's classic then it's just awesome all right folks rant rave love hate i've been going just through my archives and everything else and just i wanted to do a look back on the arcade scene and you know what I found I've already done the arcade scene really I've covered it I've covered everything I could hope to about the arcade scene and I just mean just the death of the arcades how quickly things have changed during that time period I mean, really, you had, you had games like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game, which were being ported to home consoles, and I've already covered that, and I've already gone into detail on it, and I've already gone into detail how much I missed that time, and how much I missed the uh, Neo, Neo Geo system, so yeah, alright folks, rant, rave, love, hate. Click that subscribe button to keep my show on the air. I do hope to cover Arcade some other time, but for right now, I will just leave you with this Super Mario Bros. 2 video. I hope you enjoy it. Have a good one.